Hello and welcome to Blue Army TV. I'm sitting here after Carlisle being beaten embarrassingly 5-1 away from home at bottom of the league, Reading. And look, I'm not going to lie, this isn't going to be a very positive video, as I'm, I'm, as I'm sure a lot of you can guess. Um, look, it's such a long journey down there, which so many Carlisle fans took today. And, you know, every single one of the guys that went down there today, every single one of years, I think there's nearly 500 people that have gone down there to sit in the away end, to be shoved into that little corner in, in the away end, and to watch that. And, and to, to them people, I can just say, look, you're absolute heroes, true football fans. Um, and I feel like the players have let you down and you'll 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 feel the same as way but from ev from nearly every single player on that pitch today it was absolutely embarrassing today you know you come into a team that for the first time in a long time we're favorite in this game I would argue and you know to give away the first goal like that is it it it's it's a mistake it's a lack of communication at the back and it's just it's that kind of stupid mistake that we need to stop making but you know that that can almost be forgiven, and and we go on, on to equalise quite soon after, through what I can only describe as an excellent goal. Uh, Jack Robinson gets a a good cross in. Luke Plange finishes well. Uh, but you know, as well as Luke Plange did there, he immediately let himself down by, literally seconds later from the kick off, he he just decides to stop playing the game to twine at the ref, letting a man run straight through, and um. And ready in score, and then you know <laughs> they just didn't stop scoring after that five-one in the end. Jesus Christ! And and look, I'm going to call out players individually. Here. Um, Thomas Wally, I don't think there's too much you could have done about really any of them. I think the only one you could really blame him for is the uh, is the first goal. You, you should argue the keeper should be screaming for that, um, the own goal at the start. But other than that, I don't think you can really do too much. Um, Josh Emmanuel, despite a really good debut last week, was horrendous in this game, badly at fault for the third goal, um, and I didn't think he showed any real quality throughout the entire game. Sam Lavelle scored an own goal, was at fault for the uh, the fifth, and didn't do particularly well on the second goal either. Um, then we moved to Jack Armour, a poor game from Jack Armour, he really hasn't been his best this season, and look, admittedly he was kind of played out of position today, but you know, it's still not good enough from him. Um, ben Barkley, just he, he, he won't be still playing in January. Um, Jack Robinson, I, I think you know you can't give us someone in the match after getting beat this badly. But if you're gonna give it to somebody, I think Jack Robinson is the only player today that comes out with a bit of credibility. Uh, Dylan McGeek, I didn't think did too badly either. He was hauled off at halftime though. Owen Moxon, I thought was pitiful, poor. You know, he looked like the, uh, you, you know, he, he, there was all that talk when we signed him for Man and uh, oh, we, we've just signed this, um, you know, it's an amazing sign of signing. We've we've just signed a, a guy who was driving lorries not too long ago, and he looked like that player. He looked like the guy that's been driving lorries for a season, you know, and and he and he hasn't played well all season, to be honest with you. He's had two or three good performances, but other than that, it's another game where look, he, there's all this talk about Owen Moxon's contract. Would you be wanting to pay him the big bucks with performances like that? Would you, would you really want to be paying too much money for him? Yeah, he's a big name. Yeah, he showed quality in the past. But do you, is is surely there's better players out there than what we've seen from Owen Moxon today? And I feel like instead of him, because I feel like the perception is that Owen Moxon's got the upper hand and that we really want him to sign the contract. With the performances being put in recently, I think it should be the other way around. We're now a club with loads of money on the up. Owen Moxon's been dreadful. He's not. He's not going to get that move to Blackpool or to a higher club at this rate. So I don't want to hear any more talk from, uh, you know, from fans saying, "Oh, I hope Owen Moxon signs the contract. If he wants to stay, he can sign it." I don't want us go paying over the odds for Owen Moxon anymore because you know he's a local lad, and it's 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 not what I expect from that kind of local player to just drop the head the way Owen Moxon has. You know, it, it 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 looked like a lack of effort today, and I think maybe the you know the the pressure of having such a good season last season, and maybe it's an ego thing. I don't know, but he just you know he, it's the arrogance that he had last from last season, but with none of the productivity. 
Um, as I said, Dylan McGeek did all right. Jordan Gibson had a few little things, with nothing special. Um, Luke Plange, I think, I don't really want to st- see him starting ever again. You know, he, he looks almost destined to go in January, not just because we should be getting rid of him anyways, but because that's when his loan expires. Um, and yeah, look, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on some of these players, but look, Luke Plange, and and I, and I, and look, Paul Simpson's a world class manager. I think he's so good, but. It's absolutely madness to keep starting Luke Plange as a, as a central striker all on his own. And look, to be fair, he didn't today. Joe Garner was the original plan. But what must Ryan Edmondson and Sean Maguire have done to not be starting ahead of Luke Plange? And I understand you can't really play Sean Maguire as a central striker by himself. He's just not big enough. But, but Luke Plange by himself up top isn't the answer. It was never going to be the answer, and today showed that he should have had a uh, he should have had another goal. There was another good opportunity um, later on from another Jack Robinson, a uh, good bit of work and a good cross from him. That plan should have scored or at least squared, um, which he didn't. I think the goal is the only good thing he did today, and that might save him from a little bit of criticism. But I think he was one of the worst players on the pitch today. Was Plange and. Look, it, it it's inex- inexcusable for a player that not too long ago went for, you know, a million pounds. I, I don't want to see his loan extended, and I think the feeling amongst Carlisle fans is that it won't be. Um, but yeah, look, we just need to get through to January at this rate. And I, I did notice as well that if um, teams below us win their games in hand on us, then we will be bottom of the league. Um, and look... I, I keep saying this season that even when we lose, we don't get battered. That hasn't been the case today. We've been absolutely smashed by a team that were bottom of the league coming in this game. And you know what? Reading absolutely deserved it because they were better than us. They were more clinical than us. They defended better. They just looked like a good team. And we we made bottom of the league look like a quality team. And it's and, and to be honest, it's embarrassing. And, it, and it's a disgrace that we're... Um, that that many Carlisle fans have had to travel nigh on the length of the country to watch that. And I can just imagine what Paul Simpson must be saying to them at full time, what he must be throwing at them in that changing room, what he must be shouting at them. And look, there needs to be changes next week. I think Ryan Edmondson, when he came on, looked a little bit sharp. He was very unlucky not to score, with one being cleared off the line from a corner. You know, he, he, say what you want about his finishing, but... He's great at getting them headed goals. He showed that last season. You know, every single one of his goals last season was from uh, from headers. I want to see him starting next week instead of Plange. If Joe Garner's fit, which it doesn't look like he's going to be, yeah, start Joe Garner if you want. But I don't want to see Luke Plange anywhere near the starting eleven next week or even on the bench after that performance today because it was absolutely diabolical and embarrassing from um, what... You know he, what he describes himself as as a professional footballer. But look, let me know if I'm being too harsh on 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 the players today because look, a lot of these players are, are club legends, as as we said in the past. With them, you know, getting us promoted last season. But after a performance like that, it just it looks, it just looks poor, and it 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 does boil my blood a bit that we've been in such a good position now. Where there's been so much positivity around the club, and it's just such a Carlisle thing to go and kill it off in the way they have done today, because that's what they've done. And after a good point last uh, on Saturday, and after so much positivity going around with the takeover, to go and get a result like this, it's absolutely killed it dead in the water, and really slammed the brakes on any sort of progress. Um, look, there's apparently there's going to be some signings, free agent signings in the next few weeks. Um, and, you know, if any of them are any good, you'd expect them to go straight into the starting eleven, um, Because they haven't got much competition at the minute, because any one of them players today, I think you could replace. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that before I say something stupid. Um, yeah, <laughs> I maybe already have, but, um, but yeah, thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think about today. I can't imagine there'll be many positive comments today. But yeah, thank you for watching um, in a bit.